Originally, it was thought that Cromwell's Great Tower was constructed in the mid-1440s based on the building accounts of the castle. However, using scientific data of tree ring dating, it's been shown that the floor frame of the tower dates to no later than 1431. So the building is going up at that period in time. The importance here, because most people are probably thinking, well, what does 15 years really matter? is that Tattershall becomes a building which influences Eton College, which is built for royalty, rather than being influenced by it. So it goes on to influence an entire style of English architecture, which runs for about 200 years. The castle was built for Ralph Lord Cromwell, who was the Lord Treasurer of England, so the man responsible for holding the purse strings for the monarchy. And he wanted a structure which would reflect his great status in society. And by doing that, he deliberately engaged builders who knew about innovative architecture. And they were looking to mainland Europe. They were looking to France, to Germany, the Baltic, the Low Countries for these new ideas in how to actually design a building. And when they did this, even the building material, the brick, which is used here, is up to the minute. It's one of the first brick buildings in England. The research has shown us some quite surprising discoveries about the use and function of some of the buildings and spaces at the castle. So what was previously thought to be a stables has turned out to be a lodging. The guardhouse has become another lodging. The tilt yard have become gardens. The parlour is now a servant's hall and the kitchens are actually a gatehouse. The roof at Tattershall is really unusual because it has these two tiers which have an arcaded cloister around them and that cloister links heated banqueting suites and there is nothing else like this anywhere at all in mainland Europe during the medieval period.